What's good guys? How you doing? Merry Christmas, but I didn't get to tell you. Hope you all had a good weekend. Guys, Jane Box breaks 4:55 p.m. Eastern Time and 26. We're breaking our second case of Heritage High Number Baseball. Bowman Draft comes out Friday, guys. I have it priced Wednesday or Thursday, and I'll be sending PMs out for the first three uh, cases. You guys have first dibs on case three. <clears throat> what up, Mark? How are you, man? Top players is going to be a uh, non auto poster of George Springer for the Blue Jays. I did, man. I did. We uh, hosted it at my house this year, so it was pretty stressful. <laughs> Cooked for a lot of people, but. First time we had to do it, but we pulled it off, so can't complain. Kids were happy, that's all that counts. <clears throat> we had like 13 people at my house, so it's a little different. Tons of food left over though. I don't know how we're gonna eat it all. So if anyone lives local and you need some steaks or anything, let me know. <laughs> yeah, we usually always go to my mom's, but this year since I bought a bigger house, I told her we're having it at my house. I'm tired of traveling on Christmas with the kids. It's a pain in the ass. It was weird for my mom not to post it, but she enjoyed it, so hopefully we can do that every year on Christmas. I'm going to watch my Eagles today. They kicked some ass. <laughs> I know it's just the Giants, but it was looking bad the first half. Alright guys, box one. All right, we have a Yearman Mercedes out of 561. It is action for the White Sox. All the high number SPs, guys, if you weren't in my previous break, I did top load all them for you, too. I can't see them during the break, so. All right, we got Trevor Bauer. Another Yerman Mercedes, number two, uh, 572, refractor. <clears> Throat's a little groggy today, guys, from my allergies, so if I sound like shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn weather changing. It's so warm, I don't get it. Piece of cardboard. All 
right. We're going to have a Jared Kelnick. Nice. Real one autograph. Seattle. Nice start. Going to Jason. I think it's just the base. Take it, though. You don't hit often. I've been hitting them there lately. Catfish Hunter. He's been hunting those Kelnicks, I believe. Andrew Vaughn. Haven't you been searching for one of them, Jason? No, he told me last break. No, there's more than one, Mark. We got uh, four, la four or five last time. Shaw Murphy, number two, 999. You had uh, Angels in this, I believe, last time. We had about four. There's not guaranteed any, but usually hit around three or four. Sometimes up to six, I've seen. And then Relics. Yeah, last one, right, Jason? I thought you said you were searching for him, though. I'm not sure if you're on my feet or not. Maybe that was whoever took them last time. I couldn't remember. You got Clemente. That's it for box one. Well, Jeremiah. You just hit a Kelnick auto in the first box. Redemption. Mark them down. Seattle's off the board. All right, we got Luis Castillo on the jumbo for the Reds. How was your Christmas, Jeremiah? I hope it was good. Guys, I only got two boxes of um, Dynasty they sent me. I got to get them out of my trunk. I had to <laughs> chase down the UPS guy the other day because he left a note at my door. But I only got two boxes, so I'm just going to do random teams on that. I still got some more Heritage, too. And I think I got four boxes of Illusions Football. Game Friday, too. Stupid, that's all they gave me, but... It is what it is. Uh, I got it on uh, Amazon. <laughs> nice, Jason, yeah. Pass two breaks, I pull, or no, not pass two. What, what we just oh contenders? I pulled a, an out of ten auto of him, of Kelnick. Yeah, the Biden shirt I got on um on Amazon. I can send you the link if you want. There's a whole bunch of funny ones on there. My parents um are liberal, so it's fun to wear that stuff around them. And then my sister's boyfriend, he's a big Republican. He actually works in, in politics. So I got him a shirt that says, even my dog hates Biden. <laughs> my parents were laughing. I was dressed up as a Grinch for half of Christmas, and I switched into that. We got a Jarrett Walsh Black, number two, uh, 72, Angels. Wish it was Trout. Yeah, if you can't find it, let me know. I'll send you the, the link where I bought it on there. See, there's a lot of shirts to go through. I think I just put in Biden Christmas shirt. We got Rally Fingers. Hey guys, wrist Jordan, if you get high number of SPs, I think it was anything over, I want to say six, 700 maybe, number 700, it was uh, 701 and up I think was the high number of SPs, so we'll top load all them for you, it's mostly rookies actually, if I recall. We got Clemente. 
Oh, they know he's out of his mind. They definitely do. They voted for him now, but I think they I think they understand. All right, we got Reese Hoskins for the Phils. Uh, going to Richard. You can't. No matter what side you're on in politics, man, you can't help but laugh at the guy. I mean, he's he's a he's just a moron. <laughs> I actually liked him back in the day. Until he was with Obama. Yeah, Eagles, man, they looked... I didn't get to watch the first half because I was at my um, soon-to-be stepdaughter's birthday party. So I came home and they were... It was the second half, so I was done. I was like, Jesus Christ. And then, uh, as happy as hell, they started kicking ass after halftime. Went and saw Sing 2 today. It's awesome. <laughs> Sad we look forward to that crap now. No, no. Sing 2 is pretty good. I still like the first one, but Sing 2 had better uh, better music in it. Bad Guys looks good coming out for a next kid's movie in April. It's a cartoon like Sing. It looks pretty good. I'm looking forward to that one. We got Clemente. Yeah, she had a birthday party at the movie theater. We had the whole theater to ourselves. It's pretty cool. For up to 30 people. Mount Castle. Alright, that's it for box two. Box three. Yeah, I know, right? All right, we got Ron Santo on the poster. No auto. Cubbies. He can't even. He can't even talk, man. It's it's just sad. I mean, I understand why people hate a Trump, but. At least nobody gave a shit with him in office. Except for the media. <laughs> People are scared of him. I'm actually not Republican or Democrat, so I'm independent. I just know my business thrived when Trump was in office, so I liked it. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. He even said himself he'll he'll run again if he's still around. He you can he you know he's in bad health. They won't say it on national television because of the nationwide leaders, but I mean, he just admitted it in a sense not good. Makes us look soft. I just hope this damn virus is eventually gone and just get back to normal lives. Oh God, Harris! No, she—they're trying to get her out because they don't want her in line next. But then it would be Pelosi. Harris is now. Harris is playing the race card, saying that she doesn't get good coverage because she's black and she's in, in a woman. I'm like, come on! You good press coverage because you're just an idiot. And we got CNN busting on you. There, you got something wrong with you. <laughs> Clemente. CNN's talking bad on you. You know, you know there's a problem. <laughs> and MSNBC. No, no. Oh, 
old card coming up. Looks like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a clubhouse. Number to 99. Nice. Beau Bichette. Hand numbered. Toronto going to mark. Take that. Now, you don't have to, Jason. I'll, I I did it for the last guy. I, I sleeved on top with all the Koenigs. I know the his, uh, rookies are selling really well, so. Oh, the whole rookie class. You'll need to throw extra cash. It's not that many. I think there was like six or seven. And a couple inserts. Uh, who just hit Toronto? If I recall. I don't really remember, but I'll, I'll do it for you. We got Dylan Carlson. Yeah, I think there was a rookie performers, a couple of those, and then a couple of rookies, base rookies of them. Now, if I didn't, if I couldn't get top loaders no more again, then I'd say, yeah, throw me some extra. But <laughs> I got, I'm pretty, pretty loaded on them now, so I don't mind top loading some stuff. If you guys ask me for anything special, as long as it's something ridiculous, something shiny's coming. What is that? Oh, just a chrome. Duh. David Dahl, number two, uh, 999. I always forget there's chrome in this. This is all the white. <laughs> I know he was a ranger now. Yeah, Jose Abreu. Nah, you're good, man. I just sorted one of these last week, so it wasn't that many. Fourteen K opening day for Cleveland. Let's see black. I don't know if it's chrome or not though. It's not, I don't know what it is. It's gonna be Dean Kramer. I don't see one I don't think we had one of them in the first case, did we? It's like a gray. It's not numbered though. Come on, Kramer. For the O's. It's a grayish black. Vita blue. That's it for box three. Alright, box four. Is there anybody, has anyone seen any autographed top loaders in this one? Got Reggie Jackson, the jumbo. Posters are just a pain in the ass. I don't even know why they even make them. I don't see anybody collecting them. Oh, that sucks, Jason. Ooh, I see red and a black. Oh, uh, that might be a purple. Hot box. Yeah, it's the hot box. I do see a red in here too. I mean, once in a blue moon, some of my packages of corners got fucked up on the base cards. Someone complained. I tried to. Pack them tight so it doesn't happen. Unfortunately, the post office fuck throws your shit around so much, man. It's it's tough on the cardboard. I always make sure the big dollar things have top loads on them for that reason. Unless I miss it. Cisco told me one time he was in a break and hit a 101. And the guy didn't even top load. It was a super fracture. <laughs> Didn't sleeve it or top loader, just throw it in with the base. I'm like, what? I'm not going to sleeve a top loader. A super cracker. wasn't a big one, but still, kind of crazy. 
It was a big breaker, too. I'm not going to say his name, but... Just because I can't verify that, but that's what I was told. All right. Box four. Oh, yeah, for real. It's crazy. All right, we got Shane McClanahan purple. Yeah, Paredes purple. It's not all top loaded, too, guys. Yeah, Blake Snell on the nickname. Nice. Snellzilla for the Padres. I didn't get any of those last case. I just wish I get more product, man. It's just it's just terrible. I'm losing customers over it. <clears throat> Trevor Story. I only get a lot of product of stuff like this. Debbie Garcia. We got Jamani Jones. Look at me all the product I want of this stuff. Nick Nation. They overset me. I had to send four cases back. I only wanted six. Tyler Trammell. They gave me ten. So I don't want that. Zach Davies. Here comes the Reds. The refractor. Uh, just Braylon Marquez. Uh, that's number 372. I thought it would be number to five. So that's nothing really that big. Going to Thomas. Cubbies. That's stupid. I thought it was going to be number to five. Five or ten. Cody Hewer. First one of what, Jason? Nicknames? Brent Rooker. The actions and stuff are hard to get. Blake Snell. And we got a Joey Votto for the Reds. I'm uh, going to Gregory, so, so far just one auto, guys, but we'll get a couple more. Too bad it wasn't the auto of him. Going to Gregory. Nickname. Alright, we got Josh Bell. Clemente. Anthony Rendon. We got Mercedes. Urias. Ramon Urias, whoever that is. Sean Murphy. He's an Oriole, I should know that. Shane Bieber, Pavin Smith. Jarrett Walsh. Dean Kramer. Braylon Marquez. Indians insert. <clears throat> Mod Rosario. A lot of people like it. I just, I, don't, I just don't like it for breaks. We got Charlie Morton, number two, 999. It's good for, like, you know, personal breaks and stuff. Just for case breaks. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, David Price. I haven't break this stuff in years. But my LCS didn't need it now, so I'm stuck with it. Lance Lynn, I only ordered them for him. Mike Moustakis. But he got a lot, of, a lot in too, so he didn't need it. We got uh, Joe Rudy, Paul DeYoung. All right, that's it for box four. All right, box five. Pitcher cards, yeah. Bowman Draft is full of pitchers this year. So it's be good though, it's another good class. I just don't follow prospects. I'm just waiting for my buddy Pete to price it. We got Paul Doyle for the Angels in the buyback. I always pretty much go off of his pricing. He got a ton more given than I did. I bought I bought five extra though, so we have a good bit of Berman Draft coming. I don't even like Berman Draft, but I heard a lot of pitchers this year. I said they gave me a good amount of Bowman's best. I really don't feel like paying full retail so we can break some cases. Uh, it'd be Bowman Draft and uh, Elite Extra Edition, Jared. 
I got six boxes or four boxes of Illusion Football. I got to post. I'll probably have that posted tomorrow. And I got two boxes of Dynasty Baseball. I'm just gonna do random teams on it. Seems like Bowman's doing a lot. Of, it's like it's only the pitchers are signing the damn cards. That's what that's the problem. Bear in mind, I don't think they're getting the other guys in a contract right away. Nah, probably probably Thursday or Friday, Jason. Whenever my buddy Pete. Um, prices that I usually copy him are close to it. As soon as I have a price, I'll be sending out the, the group messages to those that were in these, in these breaks. We were filled. I forget what it was. I gotta go back and look. Got first dibs at uh, the first two. This one you guys got first dibs at the third. So. I think it was 2021 Bowman case. I, for a couple weeks ago, it wasn't feeling that good. So, I wanted to do a Christmas giveaway this year, but I didn't really have any product coming. I, I was just like, the past couple months I've been not getting much stuff. I was like, I only know what I could give away. <laughs> The first year I didn't do a big Christmas day. We filled so many cases for the giveaway, but I wasn't getting anything really this month to begin with. All right, Andres Jimenez on the action. We usually try to give away a free case or something and then break credits. I wasn't going to be breaking 30, 40 cases this month like I usually do in December. You weren't giving me shit. <laughs> yeah, Clemente and the 3,000 hits. Alright, we got Paredes, number two, uh, 572. Everything is backed up. We should have had draft like the second week of December. That's usually when it comes out. And then Elite Extra Edition and then Bowman's Best, but it's all all different this year. It's all late. Same with the football. Football is extremely late on every product. I have contenders right now. Football. I don't even know when the hell that's coming. I haven't seen a pre-order for it. <coughs> yeah, draft comes out on New Year's Eve, guys. So I will, uh, I'll be breaking it after that. We got Nick Sensel, Reds. You going to Gregory? It's my first time I get to go out to a bar in like two years. No kids. They have no kids. Period. I plan on getting shit faced. <laughs> Kevin Cash. I haven't had a night like that in a long time. As of most of you guys probably will be out too. Alright, we need some autos here. We've got enough relics. A Bobby Doll back. Uh, it comes out Friday, Jeremiah. Isn't Jeremiah, isn't Friday, um, New Year's Eve? It is, right? All right, we got Willie Dames, number two, uh, 999. I'm pretty sure, because my, they said my Bowman Jumbo is coming on release date, and my, I got my hobby coming probably tomorrow or Tuesday, but I can't break it. I'm not allowed to. So I'm pretty sure it's Friday, man. If you look on Blowout, it'll tell you, but I'm pretty sure it's Friday. I would like it to be Wednesday. There's a Kelnick, but like I said, I'll make sure I top one for you. Manguel. For what I, for what I thought, it was Friday. Because they already got their hobby in my distributor. They didn't get the Jumbos in yet. Super Jumbo. Or the Jumbos, not the Super Jumbo, sorry. Yeah, it sucks to release that on freaking New Year's or uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day weekend. Like nobody's gonna be around to watch it. 
So I'll probably break mine that um that Saturday night because I gotta um celebrate my son's birthday on Sunday. So all right, box six. No problem, Jeremiah. I think I have a total of nine. Nine coming. I think I got... I want to say... I don't know how many I got coming, actually. They gave me four, and I ordered... I want to say five more, but I don't remember what I ordered. Mostly jumbos, I think. A couple super jumbos. Alright, we got Bogarts. No, best got pushed, man. Tops never releases products like that the same day. Now, Panini tries to compete on the draft stuff. I hate it because then they, they release Elite Extra Edition the same day as draft every year. But Bowman's best got pushed from what I heard. I haven't even gotten... Uh, I haven't even heard uh, my allocation on that yet. Which 12 to 31? I don't know what game you have on. I hope you guys lose tonight, Jeremiah. I need you guys to lose. You can't win a division. I want to play the last game for the division. Because if you lose out and we win out, we win a division. I want. I don't want to play a, a team that's sitting on, sitting their their best players to just to get in the playoffs. I want a good game at the end of the year because we're we're at home. We always win. We always win that game on the last day of the the season. Nah, dude, Washington's tough, man. Another red coming, but again, they're not low numbered like I thought. Washington's actually pretty tough. We 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 struggled a little bit with them in the beginning, and then we just started whooping on them. But just like the Giants today. I want to count as a definite win. Is what's his name back a quarterback? If not, then you probably will win. But Chad Hetty, or is he still out? Because he was playing well. All right, box six. Yeah, I know. I know they did. I watched that game. They had one job. I was pissed. They have the Giants. You guys didn't you guys barely beat them though? Or is that the Giants game? I'll definitely be watching tonight though, that's for sure. Tell you what, Kansas City's whooping up on Pittsburgh. Baltimore's probably gonna be out of the playoffs now. Losing today bad. And the backup 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 didn't even play that bad. It was the defense. Horrible. Yeah, Clemente. They lose next week. They're done. Giants game was. I, I thought the Washington game, you guys were close until the end. And then you just went crazy on them. I thought it was a close game. I, I don't remember. I just know we play Washington next. So, and then we play you guys. All right, for the Twins, we got Burt by 11. So I guess they're giving one uh, vet per case. We got one last time, too. Going to Rob. Still has a nice signature. It's not a buyback, is it? No. All right, so twins are down. Division games are always tough, though. It's any, it's any given Sunday on those all the time. Casey Mize and the NFC East. We all suck, man. I think all of our teams are trash. Clemente. Anderson. 
Yeah, I, like I said, I think I never even heard of the dude. I didn't realize he's been in the league for so long. He actually, I, just, I didn't watch. I looked at the numbers. I was watching my game, but I was shocked how well he did. All right, it's going to be Nick Maton, number two, uh, 372, Phillies. I, yeah, Dallas isn't even that good. You guys squeaked by a couple games this year. Good thing about the Eagles, though, they look good. Is that when they when they do win, we're not we're not barely just winning. We're we're dominating the game. So when we've lost, we haven't really gotten killed. So San, Slam Diego insert. That's the only good outlook for the Eagles. But I I still don't like Jalen Hurts. Box seven. I like Minshew, but he played the Jets, so we don't know how good he really is. All right, maybe Mo Drabowski on the buyback for the Cardinals. They're actually in good condition for once. Corner's a little bad, but not terrible. Sometimes these things come with creases and everything else in previous years. Came in a rag on P. Green Bay is too freaking good. They squeaked by this year on a couple games, too. Where they got lucky as hell. has extra cards I guess. Some are like thin with like three cards and other ones are like filled with ten. It's weird. Yeah, I think he will be. It'll be a slap in the face to everyone that got on about not taking the shot, COVID shot. If he wins the Super Bowl and MVP. Can you imagine? The media's gonna go in a frenzy on him. I like Aaron Rodgers, though. He's a douche, but I like his gameplay. Anyone watching that, that Tom Brady season on uh, ESPN Plus? It's pretty good. We're on episode 6 now. Well, this past week was episode 6. I was just happy to see how mad he was when the Eagles beat him. Well, we haven't got actually hasn't gotten to that one yet. It was just when the Eagles, when he beat the Eagles. I'm waiting for that episode when the Eagles beat him with Nick Foles. Yeah, he just goes over the Super Bowls. It's pretty in his like the season flashbacks of when he was younger. It's it's pretty good. As much as I hate the guy, it's fun to watch. You get to see a different side of him. All right, we got uh, now and then for the Dodgers. Yeah, they're only an hour long. They're only doing one a week, though. It's annoying. It's like the last dance. At least they did two a week. I'm excited for that Kobe one to come out. All time greats, Pool Holes and Trout. Oh, I just missed that. You remember Mercedes? White Sox uh, going to Sean. Barely see that blue ink. All right, so White Sox are down. Yeah, I know because he's lost to him three times now. Corey Seager. It's just funny to watch all the times he beat Peyton Manning to go to the Super Bowl or to get uh, in the championship games. I didn't realize that they had that big of a rival like that. Even when he went to Denver. All right, we got David Dahl, number two, 
I didn't realize that they that the Colts were actually that good all that time and just couldn't get there because Brady stopped them. I watched football then, but I wasn't like a fanatic about it. Christian Pache. So Peyton Manning probably hates him the most out of any quarterback ever. <laughs> he literally played him every year in the playoffs and beat him for, for like one time. I get a lot of SPs in this one, Joe Morgan. Alright, that's it for seven. Well, that's eight. And then it's funny because he, he has all those issues with with uh, Peyton Manning, but then Eli beat him twice. <laughs> that's gotta that's gotta hurt. Alright, so we got uh Steven Strasburg on the poster for Washington. It's crazy to think how many pay rings Peyton could have actually gotten. Because he ended up with two, right? Denver and, and Indy. One on each, I think. One's for Brady. He could have probably had four or five. Another red refractor. It's crazy. Three. Didn't have any in the first one. Yeah, but he probably could have gone five times with Indy. Yeah, but you guys got to lose tonight, man. I, I can't have you win a division the day after Christmas. I'm going to ruin my whole week. I really wanted to, out, wanted to get out of the last game. I mean, you're guaranteed a playoff spot, so... Be happy with that. I mean, anybody we play is going to be hard. We're going to be the, the lowest seeds, and I think compared to anyone else in the NFC. If you guys win the next two, though. I think you have a shot at the um, the first seed, so you, should, you probably will play your starters. At this point. I said we would just tank to get better draft picks since we have three this year, but I would like to play you guys in the playoffs and beat you. Make it more, more enjoyable. Alright, SP coming is going to be Victor Gonzalez on the action for the Dodgers. Jeremiah. So your guys' is, uh, feed freezing and all mine keeps tapping in and out. I don't know if it's just my connection or my computer. I know my other one's not, it's just the live one is. Alright, we got Mike Mistock, because I thought that was Trout for a minute. Number two, 372. Just saw the, the mic part. New friends for the Mets. Alonzo and Lindor. Walk off Grand Slam for the A's. Good luck having Green Bay to lose. But yeah, it's only one team getting to buy this time, so. I thought they would make it two with the seventh seed, but. 
Ah, another freaking relic. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Toronto. On the mark. Right, I think we'll get probably two more autos. Starts going through all these base cards for a relic, though. Clemente. The price, they really need to start adding an auto and a relic. We're going to keep charging what they are for these products. Kirloff. We got Keegan Thompson, number two, nine ninety nine. Yeah, I don't think Green Bay's losing. Don't they have two shitty games next anyway? I don't think they play anyone hard. Kyle Lewis. Pools. All right, one, two bucks, nine. Who is Green Bay? Well, Aaron Rodgers definitely ain't going to stay on the Packers next year. All the all the shit they gave him, I think I think he's out. All right, we got Rich Her Hebner on the buyback for the Pirates. I think they're buybacks. The other high numbers too, which is good because I need I need Vikings to keep losing. So they lost today, which helped the Eagles big time. Now, now we stole their spot for the seventh, sixth, or seventh seed. I think most teams are playing in division last. Well, Dallas plays somebody. You guys don't play division next, right? After tonight, don't you play a, a team out of the division? Our last four are all division games after the bye. I thought you guys had to play the Cardinals or something <coughs> next week. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. Yeah, so you guys, you guys still have a hard game. So you lose tonight, you should be shook about the Arizona game. And then he got us, which is always a hard, hard game at, when you're in Philly. All right, Bucks nine. It's going to be Kelnick. Oh, that's that nice uh, cardstock one. That's probably big. There you go, Jason. So you get an auto and you get the cardstock variation. And these are 50 or less. Someone else was saying, or I think maybe 25 or less. Someone else was saying they were 5 or less, but I saw on the thing it was 25 or 50. There you go, buddy.
Merry Christmas to you, Clemente. Yeah, flip stock. You don't say it on there, but you can. The paper's different. You can. You can totally tell. Someone told me they weren't backwards. I knew they were. All the SPs are supposed to be backwards this year, except for the high number. From what I read. You got Gene Tennis. Nah. If you look on Cardboard Connection, it's not. I thought it said out of 25 or out of 50. I think it was 25, maybe. Let's just number the damn card. Alright, relic time. Carlson. Cardinals. Going to Terry. Cardinals down. We got a Jose Marmolos, number two five seventy or nine ninety nine. Sorry, Seattle. Oh, that's a big card, man. Anything Kelnick is right now. I meant to raise them and lower some teams and I forgot. <laughs> Didn't realize how high he was doing his stuff was doing in this. MVP's World Series for the Dodgers. Freeman. <laughs> Mini, shut up. Sanchez. All right, box ten. I got a lot of buybacks. Good. I hate the posters. John Strohmayer. For the Nats. I don't think I've ever seen like a big card on a buyback. I don't even know who half them are when it, in, these, in these heritage breaks. But, um, I hope they come to agreements because I really, I really want the Phillies to start making some freaking moves, dude. <laughs> nice. How much were they charging, Jason? They said I meant to raise them. And I forgot, so I can lower a couple other teams. But I hope baseball goes. I, we need it, man. I, I don't want them to be in a lockout. They just need to come to grips on that. Give a designate hitter to both sides. It should have been that way since the start. I never understood why the American League had that advantage every year. Because all the good players that can bat go to the American League when they're older. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have price that bad. I have this price cheap compared to what I saw other people pricing on, on release day. Some people are like $500 higher. 
And they were filming them. I was like, Jesus. I know it's a lot of work to sort, but I'm not going to charge that much more because of my time. Cabrini and Hayes. Takes a few hours. Even though I'm not shipping the vet base, but just to pull it all and then there's still a lot of cards even at the vet base. There's a lot of rookies in this. Alright, Kevin Biggio. Look at the last two are autos. Toronto. Gonna to mark. Oh, I agree, Jeremiah, but I I just still think that um, they need to come to grips on that. I think pitchers should not have to bat, unless they want to. Like Otani, you're not going to say no to him. Clemente. He's a third hit for Toronto, I think. I just think that that's a, been a dumb rule for years. They should have changed that. I don't know why they ever instated that. I don't know the story behind it. Devin Williams. Yeah, it's always a spot in this, Jeremiah. In these breaks. It's a good amount of cards, too. Like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of rookies. There's a couple about four stacks that I still had to uh, four to six stacks I think it was. And my stacks are pretty high. Jazz Chisholm, nice on the red, number two, uh, 372. I, don't I still don't think we got any reds in the first case. I don't recall. We got a ton in this one. Maybe we did, I just don't remember. Johnny Bench. All right, two left, guys. Let's get two others here. We should get at least one red on this. Usually it's one per case. I thought. All right, another buyback. It's gonna be Terry Crowley. I actually know who that is, but he's nothing big. For the O's. this year. They're just trashing. Big Ben needs to retire after this year. What's up, Brandon? How you doing, man? How was your Christmas? You get a Babe Ruth auto for Christmas? <laughs> I did, man. I know you're still jealous that I have one. You don't. I don't think you do. Do you have a baby? I don't think you have a baby with auto. If you do, you have an encased one, if I remember. I still gotta hang mine up in my new house. 
and I finished the wall of my office. I, and I put it on that wall. That's right. You got you got a leaf one, right? Yeah, I got one. I'm never gonna buy another. The one I got went up so much in value because it's a bold signature. I'm I'm thinking about getting rid of it and buy a cheaper one. I think I paid six for it, and they're going. They're ones I've seen recently are going for ten or eleven. I'm gonna cut all it off. It's bold. All right, got Sal Bando. Well, they're not my Ravens, Pete. They're your Ravens. I'm an Eagles fan. I just root for the Ravens that live out here. <laughs> and my Ravens. I'm not taking ownership of them unless they're winning. <laughs> Alex Boom. Yeah, that's for I've been but for a bold ones, they've been selling for about ten to twelve, ten or eleven, somewhere around there. Yes, I can. I'm from Philadelphia, Pete. I grew up there. I moved to Maryland when I was in my 20s. So, yes, I could be from from Maryland. And depending on what part of Maryland you're in, there's a lot of Eagles fans. Another relic. The last one's got to be a red auto. Trent Grisham, Padres. Going to run. And I guess it doesn't have to be a red auto, but it should be a red auto. And I don't hate the rate and I don't hate the Ravens. Yeah, she is Jeremiah, my soon to be. She's uh Ravens. So I guess I have to root for him. As soon as I've lived out here, I've rooted for him. Alright, Harry says you need to hit a big red auto, big fat trout, W Garcia. I better, oh, uh, yeah, you'll have to show me. I just, I just get, do collect memorabilia now. I don't really collect cards anymore. Shane McClanahan, number two, uh, 572. I just buy and sell cards. Basically, it's memorabilia. I'm about to buy this, uh, thinking about it. There's a store that went out of business in Virginia. He's selling it all. I'm thinking about taking it, but I, just, I really don't want a 26 foot trailer full of shit in my garage and it's already pretty full. Uh, Cunha. I could use the inventory though. Alright guys, last box. Oh, I saw it. I think I've seen that. What's it at though? I have a cob. Oh, I'm gonna mess that up. George Springer Jumbo. I wasn't even looking at the box. Let's look at the screen. I have Cobb, Ruth, Jackie, and um Team Wat Hunas. He'll definitely go higher than that. I still want Shoeless Joe, which I'll probably never find before I die. And I want Clemente, and then I'm done. I need Babe Ruth's wife. That's it. Which that's easy to get. I have his daughter. I have his bat boy. I have him. I need his wife to complete my, my little wall I'm doing with him. The bat boy one's awesome.
Yeah, Jackie's not too bad. Maybe you get one for around 15 to 2. Cobbs have actually gone up a little bit. Jackie's have gone up a little bit. The Wagner went up a good bit from when I bought them. I think I paid 1200 for my Jackie. My Cobb, I think I paid 15 and I think my Wagner, I paid 15 at a show. Because I bought it off of the same guy. And then I pulled the trigger on the roof for the Clemente, and I should have at the time, because they were a lot cheaper. Clemente was actually on a jersey, which is super rare, and I didn't, I didn't bite because I don't trust it. I never really see him sign that kind of stuff. Was certified, but still, I just, something about it was telling me not to buy it. And it was on the front of a jersey, which looks ugly to me. If it was on a number, I would have been all over it, but I don't like when people sign the fronts of jerseys. The eye appeal is just not there for me. But they didn't sign jerseys really back then, so I, <coughs> I said no to it. All right, we got Akil Badu on the uh, uh, flip stop. Oh, no, sorry, that's action. My fault. The twins. More red auto. Clemente. Shane Beaver. What's up? I'm trying to look at the screen, but I gotta pay attention to find this auto because they're hard to see on some of them. Oh, it's gonna be blue still. Mickey Moniac, Phillies. Going to Richard. So, no red auto in this case. That's trash. You should always put one per, I thought. It's usually the case hit. I guess as they put a Kelnick, maybe the Kelnick's red. And it just doesn't say it. Is the real one, oh, you know what? Real one, is real one red? And the regular ones are blue? Joe Rudy? Or is the real one just a, just a heritage auto? Thought real one was red. Which, if that's the case, that's a huge Kelnick. A real one autographs, Jeremiah. Are those the reds, though? Uh, I don't know. I would have to. I just use eBay for comps, Brandon. I don't know the. I don't know the value on that. I was blue base. Okay. Yeah, Joe Adele. I I don't know. Especially with him winning um, MVP this year, he probably went up, but I'm not sure what his 9.5 color, color swap is. Probably hard to find on eBay now, too. You probably have to go on an older, um, there's another Kelnick rookie. Probably have to go on an older website to find older comps on that. When it comes to that short print stuff, I mean, I, I'm not good at valuing that. All right. Let's do a recap, guys. $30 break credit. The skunk teams. Appreciate you filling again. You got first dibs at case three. I'll probably post one more. You get first dibs at case four, and then I'll that'll be it. So, all right, we got Mickey Moniak on the blue. We got Trent Grisham, Kevin Vigio, Dylan Carlson. We got Kelnick on the uh, card card flip stock. Uh, Vlad Guerrero, Mercedes, Burt Bylevin, Nick Sensel, Joey Votto. Reese Hoskins, Bo Bichette, number to 99. Jared Kelnick on the Real One autograph. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that. You have to find a guy that really knows Harper, maybe. All right, we had uh, Alik Badu, 
on the uh, action. Shane McClanahan, number to 572. Terry Crowley on the buyback. Jazz Chisholm out of 372. Uh, John Strohmeyer buyback. We had uh, Jose Marmolos, Marmolos, 999. Rich Hebner buyback. Keegan Thompson, 999. Victor Gonzalez on the action. We had Mike Mustakis to 372. David Dahl to 999. Mo Jabrowski buyback. Nick Maton to 372. Willie Dames to 999. We had Isaac Prates to 572. Uh, Andres Jimenez on the action. We had Paul Doyle on the buyback. Charlie Morton to 999. Marquez, number two. 372. Uh, nickname of Snellzilla. Uh, we got Dean Kramer. I don't know. It's not number, but it's a gray border. David Dahl to 999. Jarrett Walsh, number 272. Uh, Sean Murphy, Murphy to 999. Yerma Mercedes, number to three, 572. And Mercedes Action. All right. Let's do the three other break credit guys. Again, I appreciate the fill. Lots of teams, D-backs, Braves, Orioles, Red Sox, Cubs, Tigers, Astros, Angels, uh, Dodgers, Brewers, Matt Yanks, A's, Pirates. We got Giants. We got Rays. Uh, Nats. And that's it. All right, so we got Nats, Rays, Giants, Pirates, A's, Yanks, uh, Mets, Brewers, Dodgers, Angels, Astros, Tigers, Cubs, Red Sox, Orioles, Braves, and D-backs. Any higher than four guys? Four or lower? Do a re-roll. All right, we're going to do it seven times. Sorry, it's a little slanted today. I moved my screen. <laughs> One, two, three, four, come on, five, six, and seven. All right, so it's going to be the A's. So that is Nathan. Thirty dollars break credit, bud. And I think you used to credit on this too, so you made out. All right, guys, appreciate it. Again, I'll post uh, two boxes tonight of uh, random teams for uh, Dynasty. I only got two boxes, and um, probably possibly post one more Heritage, and then I'll still have one left. So, all right, guys, take care. Have a good night, and uh, happy holidays.